Welcome back. Just about 640 this week, National Salvation Army Week, a chance to celebrate the volunteers and donors who continue to help the group serve our community. Today, we're joined by Brad Mayhar, a spokesperson from the organization, and he has more information on how you can help the Salvation Army. Brad, good morning. Hey, good morning, Stephanie. Thanks hey, for having me. Hey, Brad, good to see you this morning. Uh, you know, a lot of people know about the Salvation Army, but you guys are so much more than those red kettles at Christmas time or a place to donate old clothing. What all does the Salvation Army do here in San Antonio? Oh, well, that, you know, that's the most common thing. Most people know about the Christmas presents and the stores, but uh, we, um, we do a lot of things. There's social services programs where we help people with food and utility, rental assistance. Uh, we have programs for veterans. We have programs for seniors. We have shelters. We have a men's shelter. And then downtown, we have a women and family shelter. Is, and we also house single families. So there's so much more there. Disaster services. Um, you know, we're a church. Uh, there's a lot of things that people don't know about the Salvation Army and so many ways that their donations help. Uh, they stay local and they help families here in San Antonio. And speaking of that, Brad, I know it's been a tough year for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. How much did the pandemic affect donations? Um, you know, it, in, in a lot of ways it did. I mean, I guess overall, you know, it, it, it did hurt some, but those who were able to give saw the need and gave more. But there's but there was quite a bit of work to be done. You know, there were a lot of fundraisers, a lot of events that we didn't get to do in the past year. And then there were programs that we had to temporarily shut down. And then there were some ways where we stepped up and we did more. You know, we did more food distributions, uh, drive through food distributions. So we, we weren't able to serve as many in some ways, but in other ways we were able to serve more. Well, as always, Brad, you guys have stepped up when times are tough, and it's it's been a tough year for sure. Uh, help us help you, Brad. How can we get our viewers more involved in, in what you guys do on a daily, weekly, and, and yearly basis? Well, um, you know, we, there's a lot of ways people can help year-round. You know, they can volunteer their time, uh, or they can donate financially, and they can donate any time of year at Salvation Army SATX dot org. Uh, and that, you know, that's year round. Uh, we welcome them to just come in for a tour and see what we're all about. And then this week with National Salvation Army Week, um, you know, we're not getting to have an annual luncheon this year. Uh, it's usually our second biggest fundraiser of the year behind the Red Kettle. So this week with National Salvation Army Week, they can tune into KSAT 12 and they can stories, learn about our programs. And then tomorrow we have a big telethon coming up that's airing from 7 to 7, uh, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And uh, our overall goal is uh, to make to, to raise $250,000 this week, and we need the community's help to get there. And Brad, let's kind of put a, a face on the people that you guys help. Uh, I know you, you've helped a lot of families, and we've been highlighting some of those families this past week. Tell us an example that you can think of at the top of your head uh, of a family who's been getting some help from the Salvation Army. Uh, there, there's quite a few. You know, recently uh, we had a family get to tell their story uh, here on KSAD. It was a family that moved here from California, and they were just looking for a new start. You know, they were they overcame some major struggles, and uh, through the help of the Salvation Army, they were able to get you know food, clothing, and shelter. You know, for their children, and they made a commitment to get over the hump. And the the father's working; they're saving up money for a for a new home, uh, they're on track to do really well. And that's just one example of numerous that we see every day. Well, Brad Mayhar from Salvation Army, thanks for joining us live here on GMSA. We appreciate everything you guys do in and around the San Antonio area. It makes us a special place to live. It does. Thank you, Brad. Yeah.